Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? Hello you greasy stub muffins and welcome to my review of AI The Somnium Files. Okay, I just want to say that the tone of this review is going to be very different to the footage that you see and that's mainly because I don't want to spoil anything so I've literally just thrown you into the very start of the game but uh, yes. As you probably saw in the little intro video, this game is hilarious. It's been a long time since the game has made me laugh as much as this one did. It's quite possibly the funniest game I have ever played. And I don't want to use that too lightly because I've played some pretty funny games. But yeah, it's just that good. As we've got this very dark and gloomy atmosphere in this video at the moment. The actual story itself is incredibly well written. I didn't expect what had happened throughout the story until like almost as if like just as it happened happened some of the bits literally as happened i was like okay wow i didn't actually see that coming like at all it's not gonna be one of those that you'll guess straight away what actually happens at the very end of the story like midway through if you do then honestly fair play to you because that is incredible detective work so yeah like kudos to you if you manage to figure it out from just like a few hours within the actual game itself Going back onto the actual tonal shifts of the game, it reminds me a lot of the Gintama anime because when it gets serious, it's properly serious and you're in that mode. But when it wants to be goofy and funny and just outright hilarious, it'll get you straight away. Like you will be one minute cracking up with laughter, next minute you'll be like, oh my god, please don't don't hurt my favourite character. It's one of those type of games. The voice acting itself matches the characters really well. I was listening to the English voice acting, as I always do when it comes to actually playing the games themselves for the review. And yeah, the voice actors have done a really good job. Like, there's not really any characters which I pick out and go, oh, I can't stand their voice or it doesn't match them. No, that actually is one of the better games when it comes to matching the voice actors and the characters themselves. So again, that's a great job. Very rarely can we say that. I did notice a couple of times that there were some lip sync issues, especially during like the driving segments or when you're in cars. I don't know why that was that it seemed to have happened, it just kind of did. So it was like a, just a slight delay, but it was enough to be a bit distracting. Another thing which I'm sure you've noticed by now is the actual look of the game really does stand out from like the normal cell shaded anime, cartoony, however you want to describe the graphics. It does stand out, it has its own distinct style. It is very appealing to the eye and it doesn't look too overdone. Like a lot of the games, for example, like Genshin Impact, you look at it and go, oh my god, that is like super anime, which could put a lot of people off. Whereas with this, I don't see that being too much of a factor for people. I think the art style is like a nice happy medium between getting into that more realistic anime style, if that makes sense. Also, as you are a detective, one thing I really like is just going about your business. You can investigate or analyze pretty much anything and there's a lot of voice dialogue with the most random things. For example, potted plants. If you want some funny dialogue, just look at the potted plants in this game. I don't know what it has to do with plants and why they wanted to make them so funny, but they really did. So yeah, any chance you get, literally just look at the plants and see what happens. Another thing you notice is the game is actually split up into two different sections. So you've got this detective section, which you'll see, and then there's also a more puzzle solving element called the Somnium Worlds or Dream Worlds, which offer multiple solutions. Linking into those solutions, you actually get so many different story paths which you can go down, and you will need to get them all to unlock the final part of the story, the true ending of the story. But it's not one of those that feels like a huge task to do. At no point was I really too worried or like, I can't understand how to do this kind of puzzle. No, they're all pretty simple on how to go down that path. It's just a case of getting there, that's all. Sometimes it's a case of you just need a little bit more information or you just need to think a little bit deeper on certain topics, but it's not gonna be out of possibility for you. You will be able to do all of these different story paths. The music is also great. Like I've listened to the soundtrack so many times because there's so many different tracks which kind of stuck with me after playing with this not just because of the feeling they gave me while during the game it's just that they're solid songs to listen to anyway whether you're just doing stuff or just going for a run you know because everybody goes for a run these days right but yeah it's great soundtrack to listen to 
and I really can't stress enough, but the characters are awesome. There's so many good characters. One of them is possibly my favourite character in all video games. I'm not even joking. She was absolutely hilarious throughout the entire thing. And it's just the interactions that the main character and the side characters have. It's just, seriously, just bravo. Claps all round. I really enjoyed it throughout just the listening to their silly dialogue that they were doing. Just the amount of messing around there we're doing the important story arcs and the very emotional moments it's just great it's there's no other way to describe it it's just amazing it's great it's uplifting it's heart-wrenching is solid i really enjoyed it and as i'm sure you know by now i'm definitely going to recommend you playing this game whether you do like point and click adventures whether you like visual novel games even if you don't like those kind of things if you enjoy a good story whether it's in a game, a book, or a movie, you need to check this out. The characters themselves, the story, the development of the characters is well worth playing this game for, even if you don't like the game part of the game. And as cheesy as it is to say, and I hope you're not lactose intolerant, I was really sad when this ended because I enjoyed it that much. It's one of my favourite games that I've played this console generation now that it is ending unfortunately on towards the ps5 and the xbox series x you know great names but seriously it is such a good game and you need to check it out i miss iber